Hi everyone, how you doing? It's Linda G coming to you, not live, coming to you from um, sunny Northern California. I guess there was an earthquake last night in Modesto. People are going, is this it? Listen, I'm gonna tell you something that I got a hit last night. I do see earthquakes, but I'm not seeing Armageddon, okay? I'm not seeing nines, okay? Maybe even close to an eight, but not nines. I'm seeing property damage, but I'm not seeing Armageddon. So no, California will not drop into the ocean, okay? That's what my guides told me, and I believe them. Because I just read that a lot of people are moving out of California. My friend Doug that I read this morning said, they're coming to Utah. <laughs> And they're coming to uh, Colorado and Texas and, excuse my mouth. I had put lipstick on, it looks like I got messed it up. Okay, so uh, I wanna say something that I forgot to say in my earlier videos. Life has been a little rough lately. My daughter is going through some stuff and um, I'm helping her and as best as I can and supporting her and uh, she's doing better. Thank you guys. But yeah, she's uh, renewing her life, starting fresh. And um, so I forgot to mention on my last video that somebody brought up to me that I had talked about that polio vaccine and I said it killed 125,000 people. No, I was wrong. It killed five people, 125,000 were given the vaccine, I believe. So uh, no, it killed five people. So I'm sorry that I forgot to sort that out, but I'm sorting it out now to let you know. Okay, one of the main purposes of this video, I was gonna write, wait for our dead famous with uh, Andrea and Sterling, but I don't want this to get lost in the shuffle, but um, Peter Ustinov was mentioned who I loved in Jesus of Nazareth, is very, very popular actor, director. And his daughter made comment about, I know what it was. We were reading on someone else and Peter knew him. It was about the Newmans, Paul Newman. And um, she said her dad and them would stay with Paul, I guess, or they we filmed with him and they stayed with him anyway. And I mentioned to her, would you like me to look at your dad? She said, sure, but enough time's gone by now that I haven't got hit it and I was gonna wait for the dead famous, but I wanna hit him now because I'm getting hits. So I wanna say for her benefit and whoever knew him, this is what I'm getting. I don't know if it's right or not. So Peter was born April 16th in 1921 and he died March 28th of 2004. So um, what I got immediately was a very, I'm not feeling snotty or anything. I feel like he loved to be alive. And I feel like he enjoyed life and everything involved with it. He's telling me to tell his daughters that he loves them. Anyway, so he's a man that loved life. He's young again too, by the way. And I think he liked good food, but acting and stuff he enjoyed. He didn't like to watch himself on film. It paid the bills and it was good to him, but it wasn't something that he necessarily thought he would be that successful at. He had a draw to it. And he enjoyed communicating with others. So I feel like, I don't know what your life was like, but it feels like he, he enjoyed having people. He wasn't isolated. I, I don't feel like he's sat in a corner. I like I, He liked people. He would say what's on his mind, no. <laughs> and uh, he could be stubborn, but he wasn't mean. He didn't go out of his way to be mean, but I can see he could, he would get tired and he would bark at people sometimes, but he really does. He, he's the type that would apologize. He's, um, he had a full life. He's telling me, hold on. I'm getting them clear as day. It looks like he had beautiful eyes. Okay, thank you. He just told me that he enjoyed doing um, the Jesus movie, although it feels hard, like the place it was filmed was hard or something. 
um, what did he play? King Herod? Mm. He loved women. He loved his wives. He loved your mother, he just said to me. Um, I feel like he was, like he indulged. I don't know if he was smoking or what, but it feels like he was getting sick for a while. I feel like things came upon him and he just wished to go because he didn't want to struggle like this. Does that, I don't know if that makes sense. She'll tell me. Um, but I just feel this burst of energy, this light. He says it's absolutely beautiful there. There's many people that he saw, many people that are over there. He's not really hanging out with the showbiz type, although he was in show business, but that didn't impress him. He liked the passion of doing what he wanted to do. I'm almost feeling like he was very, I don't know if he was, he was an artiste or what, because I feel like he used to like to paint or write or something. And uh, he has all that energy over there. He has that time to do it. And he did a lot of this acting and stuff was to pay the bills, but he liked having conversation with creative ideas. So um, I don't think he fussed much about heaven and hell and stuff like that. I'm almost feeling like this daughter that he loves may have had some dreams about him, but he's like, he's saying he can breathe again. I don't know what that means. It's like he went like that. I can breathe again. He has some people he really loved that died before him. And so he was really happy to see them again. I'm honored. Thank you. Okay. Not too many people are talking about me anymore. But my family keeps me alive. I was very lucky. I was very lucky. And life was good. He had a good life. He, he feels, you know, he was passionate about things. That's why I feel, you know, some people are alive, but they're not with the living. He was with the living. He's this big, huge, wonderful personality. And he was with the living. And he could say some funny stuff. I feel like he could say some one-liners. Some people are busting out laughing. Paul Newman is really good looking, by the way. I just saw Paul Newman standing here. So his wife is not doing well. Somebody said I think she had Alzheimer's, but I feel, I feel he's looking forward to being with her again. She misses him so much. Um, So Peter, uh, Pete used to know, Peter used to know. He was real sick when he was young, something happened. Might have had a fever of some sort. Feels like he was real sick, but he did what his course led him to do. He could say some stuff that was profound. Like I almost feel like he would repeat something and everybody's like, ah, remember this. And then he'd say a parable or something. Do you see what I'm saying? He feels very wise, very kind. He really liked people and he could laugh. He could laugh. He doesn't feel shy in a corner. And he indulged too, but you know, he wasn't uh, stuck on anything is what I'm getting. And he did like women. <laughs> he enjoyed the look of a nice woman. Okay, so let me know if that, if that hits your dad, sweetie. But uh, he's one of my favorite actors, and I especially loved him on Jesus of Nazareth. And if you can, if you can email, email me at grindle9103 at gmail.com uh, and tell me if I heard rumor that when they filmed Jesus of Nazareth, that it was, there was places in it that people were crying because it was so beautiful. And I just, I, he wasn't in the scenes with Jesus. So, you know, I don't know if he knew that. So just let me know if he said anything about doing that particular film. Oh, what's his name that, that directed it? Uh, he did Romeo and Juliet. 
it feels like he's toasting him. Like, I guess he's over there on the other side too. He says he was a brilliant man, but also a pain. That's what he's telling me. He was a pain in the rear. Okay, so um, that's what I'm getting. Now, okay, I told you about the polio. I told you about Peter. And I want to tell you, uh, Bill Gates and his wife were just done and dusted. It doesn't feel like somebody had an affair. Um, I think this has been going on for a while. They, they lost that passion. He's the one that feels like he wanted it. Uh, she's happy to go along with the flow. He feels like he can be kind of a pain in the rear to be around. Hold on. Hold on. You know, I don't want to speak before. I, uh, what's his name again? Um, I just went blank. Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Um, the gray divorce, they're calling it. Who are you calling gray? Bill and Melinda. Um, but Bill, when were you born? 1028, so he's a scort. Yep. They've been breaking up for a while, you guys. They've been breaking up for a while. Belinda's going to be fantastic. Don't even worry about it. They raised their children. They love their children. And he feels like he's going through some sort of a, how old is he now? Uh, 65. Yeah, he's, I don't know what happened between them, but I see they're not speaking or they weren't communicating. So the kids are doing their own thing. And she feels like she likes being busy doing her thing. And so there's, they were separated too long. Um, he might have met somebody. Excuse me for saying this. I just got done. But I see this person um, talking to him and him kind of craving more attention because of this person. You know how people be when they know you got money, Bill. So I feel like someone captivated him. Someone caught his attention. Sorry, guys. I just felt, I initially said, I don't see them leaving, but he's not acting like this is the reason I'm leaving. He's acting like we grew apart and now somebody struck his attention. I don't feel like he was going out of his way to have an affair, but I feel like it made him sad because he doesn't feel that with his wife. So that's what I got. We'll find out later for sure. Okay, so Bill Barr. Y'all want to know about him. <laughs> Stuff is coming up, you guys. Will they do anything about it? Angels of light and mercy, answer. We don't want, we're not wishing ugly. We just want to know, will Bill Barr, Bill Barr is going to be debarred. I just saw that. Something unbecoming. Um, are they going to call him in? Congress is going to try to call him in. I see him pleading the fifth, maybe. I see him pleading the fifth. His health isn't going to go very well. It's just too much stress. Bill, his family's worried about him. He's not listening to the news. He doesn't want to know any of it. It has pro been proven beyond a reasonable doubt the things he, he did. You guys, he was underhanded. And just like that judge said, there was no committee that decided that Trump was innocent. He had already planned this out before that, before that came out. That's why Mueller said, you know, release my report or and he made a statement. That was huge for Mueller to do that. And Barr was pissed at him. I told you this why, a way, ways ago. And y'all thought, oh, this Mueller report is a nothing burger. No, I said it's going to come back to haunt him. This is going to hurt Trump more than it's going to hurt Barr. So they may come around and still charge Trump is what I'm getting. But Barr will be disbarred. Barr is not, it's not going to be very happy for Barr. Not happy at all. And, you know, he fought every step of the way of releasing any information. He used the DOJ just like they said. 
And I don't care what anybody says. I don't care. I'm glad that the, everybody, all the, all the Republicans are going, hey, if you're not for Trump, you're nobody, because this is going to ruin them. This is going to ruin them. Look at what happened. You lost your, you lost your Congress. You lost the Senate. You lost the being president. Uh, over four, 500,000 people crossed from um, COVID. Where's your, and yet they just adore him. They just adore him. And he really could care less about them. It's really sad. But um, if you notice Cheney, Liz Cheney, she is definitely going to be taken down. But did you notice, maybe that's she's like her dad because she's trying to act like she's whatever. It is. It has been said that the people who send her money, the rich people that send her money, are definitely still going to send her money. But her father knows something. He's not. He's not doing very well either. By the way, he's not doing very well, and he hates to see this with his daughter. He's furious, but he doesn't have that way of thinking anymore. He feels a little off kelter with his mind. The mother is really upset too. So there's some sort of inside conversation. I think Dick Cheney has an inside link, might even be Bush, but it's almost like somebody saying, don't worry, this will all turn around soon enough because what's gonna happen is Trump's gonna go down. He's gonna have so many lawsuits. Right now, they're not really hitting him and I know you guys are losing faith, but don't worry, bada bing, bada boom, Giuliani's going down too, do not forget. Giuliani's going and he will try to make a deal. He'll try to make a deal. And right now, Trump's let him know, oh, dude, you know, you were technically weren't even really my attorney. <laughs> we knew this was gonna happen. So um, she's calm because she knows something and she knows something because something in the inside, I don't know if it's dad or friends of dad, somebody's telling her, oh, don't worry. Because the real Republicans, the ones that want to save Republicans are working behind the scenes also, as well as the Democrats. So there's something going on that's about ready to explode. Matt Gates is over there chit-chatting about everybody talking trash and he has no clue what's coming. He thinks he does and he thinks he can fight it and beat it. Mark my words, just like I told you, Trump was gonna lose. Mark my words, Matt Gates is going to jail. And Junior, uh, Trump Jr., I see him in trouble. So it's like they're just tossing out, tossing out, tossing out. Oh, they're going to go crazy. They might even take, okay, just remember this. They might even take, I'm getting excited talking about this. They might even take Don Jr. before they take dad. That's interesting. Yeah, this is getting ready to tumble. You know, I could talk about this till I'm blue in the, blue in the face, but I want you to know it's not going to be no year. I do see Mueller coming in. Remember I told you he'll, co he'll come back again. He what, doesn't want to, but he'll come back again to, to let them know what, what, what was going on at the time. But uh, they're going to get... Bill Barr is just going flat, like it's like a truck runs over him. So Cheney, Dick Cheney, is, his health isn't good. I got to tell you that. He's worse than Bill Barr. I don't know why I just got that hit, but I'm just going to tell you that. Okay. So Cheney, though, though he knows, <coughs> or someone has come to Liz and told her, wait for it. So I feel like she's just waiting for the Trumpism to flatline and then she can get in there because it will go downhill. It will go downhill. And they'll, they don't want to give the money to the DOJ, the money that Garland needs, because they know that it's going to be used to put them all in jail. I see them fighting it, but don't worry, they'll get it. Now, Mitch McConnell's made it loud and clear that he is going to work against Biden no matter what, just like he did with Obama. But there's a Republican senator who just came out and said, no, no, no. 
I'd be willing to work across the table. And you know who else I saw that might actually split and vote for something like the um, New Deal? Mitt Romney, like, because it's better for the country. Who, who everybody wants clean water, everybody wants. And that little percentage they're bringing up, he was, he was compromised with it, they're still saying no. The little percentage they're bringing up income tax for the rich. And the rich has said, go ahead. So Mitch McConnell is just playing Mitch McConnell. And by the way, Donald Trump can't stand Mitch. So he talks trash about him too. Mitch just wants power, it's not gonna happen. Hold on, when the voting happens, this is what I got. Now, you know, they're trying to stop voting rights and I see the DOJ really getting in there and working hard to, um, they're asking them, okay, I guess they already asked Arizona, uh, excuse me, what exactly are you doing? And they, this, they put nothing for you to worry about, okay? So now they're back gathering up stuff and I see them using the constitution. I see them getting on federal charges. I see them going in there and said, oh no. And then we're going, that's when we start going up to the Supreme Court because they'll fight them. Supreme Court's going to kick it out, even though you got your Trumpsters in there. Supreme Court's going to say, they have to go by the law. I'm going to say, you know what? You guys shouldn't be doing this. So I see people coming out in droves voting for um, any Democrat or anyone who's for the Biden plan. People want this relief. You know, remember I told you that we might have to wait till we have the midterms and for Biden to go out there and make his case? Because they're all like, yeah, we don't want this stuff. We don't need schools to have clean water. We don't need, but look at what they're saying. You know, before they voted against him because people were scared of Obama. Remember Obama, they were afraid about the, about the, uh, the Obamacare. But I see Biden presenting the case to the American public. I see him saying, you know what? Just like when he said, you vote for me, you're going to have your $1,400 check, which everybody did. And they wanted that check. And he's going to say, vote for me. And I'm going to make sure that you do fine. I'll make sure you guys have good bridges, good. And those aren't Democratic bridges or Republican bridges, roads. Isn't it funny? They didn't want the, um, the COVID deal, and then they're all over there. Oh yeah, you guys, we have, we, there's money for you. Like they were part of it. <laughs> the Democrats and the Lincoln Project, they were putting billboards. By the way, your Senator did vote it no for this deal. So, um, you know, those other people like Green and Matt Gates hangs out with that she man, uh, what's her name? Is it green and all those people? They're all going to be husbands. I'm going to tell you right now. Now you're still going to have your clusters of people that think, oh, you know, I'm going to, I'm, I'm a Trumpster to the end, and you're still going to have those. But I see people coming out. I don't care what kind of you tell them they can't have food or whatever. They don't care. They're coming out and they're going to vote. And they will try energetically to, even though they're told this is illegal, I still see them trying. Do you remember when Gore, those people down in uh, Florida were trying to vote for Gore and they sent, uh, uh, it was a black community, they sent people in to stop them from voting, closed it off. It's just obvious racism. It's just so plain as the nose on your face. I see people coming out and saying, you know, no, I want this and listen, unemployment, what's happening, and I think it's true, that people are not going back to work because their pay pays less than unemployment. Um, but I don't know how long this new unemployment is going to last. But really, people need to start paying a, a wage that people can live on. So I, I understand the frustration because the people are looking for people to work for them left and right. And if you can't pay people enough to have a living wage, then you shouldn't be in business. What were you expecting, mules? You know what I'm saying? So the unemployment thing is, I'm telling you, when that new deal comes in, it's on. I see contracts, I see, I see training, I see all kinds of green deal, I see people working, just like FDR told us back when 
he talked to us about Biden saying that he was going to be doing a new deal. Do you remember that? FDR came to me as clear as day and he said, Linda, it's going to be the same thing. He's going to totally make this thing happen. And now I live in a town that's going to go yellow. So, you know, did, didn't they say that the COVID by Mother's Day should be doing better, Mother's Day Sunday? So, yeah, the COVID here in the United States, we still have to pray for India. India is going to catch up, though. Okay, now, hold on. Biden said he's going to meet with Putin in June sometime. Biden really tells it like it is. You know, he's a Scorpio. Remember when he was in the debate? Shut up, man. <laughs> I loved him then. You know what I'm saying? Somebody get this guy to shut up. You know, Trump really thought he was going to make a great impression by being so angry like that. He didn't press too much. He scored terribly. Uh, so Biden meeting with Putin. She's like, I hope they don't try to send some rays on him or poison. No, too many people around Putin's going to really show his, but you know what? Putin's going to act like he's king for a day. Putin might even threaten him a little bit. Like we have this and we can do this. He's kind of asking for them to let up on these things they're doing. You know, they're, he's kind of letting, asking him to let up on it. Uh, restrictions that they're doing, sanctions. And I do see Biden saying, you know what, uh, you you do this and we'll do this. Do you see what I'm saying? There is some negotiation here. He still doesn't trust Putin. I hear him saying, come on, man. Come on. Really? You believe that? I do see Putin staying out of our voting now. So I think they're, they're watching him. So... <clears throat> Anyway, I, I, I was talking on my live and I want to tell those who haven't heard this. I had an encounter spiritually, psychically with a higher realm that was not of earth being. It was of uh, alien being. It was a humanoid, but it was, um, you know, kind of with the eyes, but it wasn't lizard. It feels like you know, looks like a human, but it was, but it was something different. You could tell mostly because of the eyes. And this being told me that they have been with us all, always. They are part of the reason we are in human form as we are. They have been here from the beginning. We're like a project. We're like a, the, the earth, they got involved with it. We're part, they're part of the reason that we're here. The animals, a lot of animals that were here were part of a project, okay? So it's almost like Starman when he said, remember he said the one thing about you people is that, you people, the one thing about you people is that you always show in times of trouble, you work the best. Because I remember thinking, it's weird when this being came to me, because I was, remember thinking when all this hatred's going on, you know what? It might be better for a foreign energy to attack us because nothing is better with the United States when they think they're being attacked by an outside force. And then we all come together. As in 9-11, everybody's like, oh, hell no. So, but the force is now inside. It's this ugliness inside. This energy form showed me, I'm going to tell you two things. And I don't know why he showed this to me. He showed a couple of explosions. I think it's in the United States and I felt like people running. So it feels like terrorist cells. Remember I told you before that we would have that, but I see somebody trying to do something not as big as the Oklahoma bombing, but I see something like that. And I see people running and I saw the black stuff on their face. I see people crying. He showed me that, I don't know why, but he showed me that. And I gotta say it out loud. So when it happens, you know, we can believe him, we'll see. The other thing he showed me was a train crashing. Now, 
the day he talked to me or the next that next day was the Mexico, but it doesn't feel that's not the kind of train crash I saw. I don't think it's passenger train. I think it's, uh, you know, it's got all the chemical train or something with chemicals because I saw a, another explosion because of the chemicals. I'm not seeing death on that. It's just a lot of destruction. So anyway, he wanted me to say that and we shall see because when it happens, you guys go, oh my God, Linda, guess what? I feel like it's the United States, but he wants me to, for, to tell you guys that they are watching this. There are also beings within the FBI, CIA that are there to help. So there are energy forms, alien forms that are look treat us like we're specimens. But there are energy forms that are connected with the, the realm that want us to be okay because we're like their children. They're looking out for us. Let me tell you. He told me that you cannot set a, off on a nuclear bomb. You cannot while they're here. We got away with doing um, Japan, but that's when they really started coming in. That's after that, now they're all over it because they know we can pull ourselves up. So they're watching everybody. I'm telling you, they'll shut it down. They'll shut it down. They're able to do that. So, um, and they've also prevented major um, uh, asteroids and stuff from hitting us. They've managed to stop that. And it was amazing too, because I saw something on John Glenn on the um, going to the moon. And when he did the health link, you know, they had the regular radio and then he'd go to the, you go to the health one if it's something private. He said there's, was, if it was him or someone else said there's five spaceships sitting here watching us, five. So they're around you guys. They're, they're very curious <laughs> watching us with our little ship. So um, we are with you. He wants you to know. Now there's also high spiritual energies that are not alien, that are not alien, but they know who the aliens are. So he showed me the train wreck. He showed me a couple of explosions. I feel we're all very upset, but it feels like the it feels like our intel gets right on it and takes care of it. I don't see an outside energy form attacking us at all. Um, I do see more earthquakes and fires. Dang. And you know, I'll be talking to Sterling Sunday, so he always has information on, on the earth. But the shifting is happening, you guys. We're going into a higher realm. We're getting we're getting people kind of like tripping, <laughs> you know, my, mine was ear ringing and, and people are leaving relationships they shouldn't be in. People are feeling feelings of wanting to be part of this universe, but they're not quite sure how. Be quiet and ask. You don't have to be out there. Cause I talk to people and it's like, Linda, what exactly am I supposed to be doing? Because blah, blah, blah. it's like, breathe, just breathe and relax and allow. And this, this whole thing with this um, virus is getting ready to settle out. Yes, we will have updates coming where we get vaccinated again. Sorry about that, but I see it. So anyway, I just wanted to touch bases with you. It's a little past seven Pacific time. I'll upload this and I hope you guys have a really good night. I slept really good last night. I mean, I slept solid. So finally, because when the full moon was out, I was waking up all the time. Okay, so, and plus, you know, Gerard Butler kept bugging me. I was like, would you just go to sleep? All right, you guys. Oh, and I had a really good session with, um, go back and watch it with uh, Kim, Intuitive View, and with um, uh, Freebird Spirit, Debbie at Freebird. We really had a good time. And then uh, jo uh, Joyce All Knowing, I did a, a video with her. And I'm loving these little videos doing with people. I'm going to be doing Violetta. I think next week I'm doing, um, I get a lot of invites. And like I said, I do bar mitzvahs. So, okay. Love y'all. Cheers.